I have a very loose definition of being productive. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a productive days in my life vlog type situation. I have today and tomorrow off of work so I figured I would take these two days in a row and just get a lot of stuff that I needed to get done done. So I'm putting on my shoes right now because I am meeting my friend Ava that I haven't seen since we both got home from school. Um, for coffee we were gonna go on a hike and it was pouring still kind of drizzling right now so that sucks I'm a little disappointed but we found this really cute coffee place that we're gonna go to and then after that I'm gonna meet up with another one of my good friends that I grew up with Justin that has been in Maryland pretty much since we graduated high school playing lacrosse so we're gonna go grab lunch and catch up and then after that, I'm not exactly sure what we're doing, but it will be productive because that's what this video is about. We had to stop at Costco to get gas and I have to pull up the directions. Let's see. To see how far it is because we're meeting at 10.15 and it's 9.32 right now and it's in Roswell. Only 28 minutes. Okay, so it says I'm gonna get there at 10, which I'm confused because I just went up, I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. Okay, it's like 12.30 now and I just got home from coffee. The place was so cute and it was really, really good. I had like a waffle with strawberries and cream and a coffee and it was really nice to hang out and catch up. And now I have like an hour and a half before I have to meet my friend Justin for lunch. So I'm going to use that time and clean my room as much as I can. It's not that messy. I also use that term very loosely, but hopefully I can get it clean in that amount of time. So then after or sometime, either today or tomorrow, I can finally go through my closet and my drawers and make a donate pile and a keep pile so I can just organize things a bit. And then, We'll see, we'll see what happens after that. Nice little, nice little bit of mess everywhere. I still haven't unpacked the stuff from school and that's just like shoes in the bottom of that bin with clean clothes on top that I need to put away, so. It's like, it's like two now and I just got to lunch. Um, we decided to go to game day. It's like one of the popular like reunion spots when we're all home. It's like either game day or El Ran. I feel like we always go to, but I haven't been here in forever and I'm so excited because the food is, so I'm gonna go because I'm already like six minutes late. Okay, so it's like four-ish now. I've been home from lunch for like 30 or 40 minutes and I finally finished cleaning my room. Um, there's like a few piles of stuff that I literally can't put away until I go through my closet and drawers And I would also love to clean out the underneath of my bed I have no idea what's under there, but I guarantee it's a bunch of stuff. I don't need um, So those piles are gonna have to stay which makes it seem like it's not clean, but it is but here I'll show you This is the start of my donate pile that I had to like pull out of my closet when I was moving in because I just did not have room for my sweatshirts that I brought home um, these shoes need to go in my shoe bin, which is a hanging one, which I don't have room for right now, so that's why they're still sitting there. And then same thing with this pile, this is a bunch of like random stuff and like costumey items and like things that were underneath my sorority bed that I didn't really need often. 
So those piles make it seem like it's a little bit of a mess, but that's kind of just motivation to like get this done and get my room fully organized. I think I'm going to do that all tomorrow because once I start like decluttering and organizing, I will do it all day long until everything is decluttered and organized. So I don't think I'm going to bite off more than I can chew tonight because I'm supposed to be meeting my friend JC once she gets off from work. I'm just having quite the day of meeting up with my friends. And I know some people may not say that's productive, but for me, I'm not the type of friend that's like, oh, let's hang out every day. It's like, oh, let's hang out every month or two months or like in some cases six months and we'll just like catch up in life all at once. And you know, those are my favorite types of friendships. So that's my type of productive today. And I think I'm gonna go to the gym and rock climb just to get a little bit of a workout in and hang out with my boyfriend some. So that is the status of today. I will probably see you guys at the gym. We've made it to the gym. Billy's with us now. Hey Yay. Long time no see. We're gonna get a quick little climb in, take you guys along, and then we're gonna go home. Napolito, we're about to get margaritas. Well, I am. She's gonna have a Shirley Temple or something. <laughs> Shut up. You're so but we're here for the queso and the jalapeno, so we'll see you inside. We're eating dinner now because eating is productive in my book. I got a cheese quesadilla. He got the nacho supreme. Little marg action, little chips, queso, salsa. Mmm. And for my next trick. I'll make this margarita disappear. Ta da! Thank you for choosing the decadent. Can I help you? Hi, could I please just have a large sweet tea with light ice and an ice water, please? I said please. I'm sorry, that was a large sweet tea with light ice and what else? And an ice water. Okay, well, I have it with the window. Awesome, thank you. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning now, and I'm stopping at Duncan. Before I get my day started, it is like 11, which is a tad bit later, but I let myself sleep in a little bit and then just kind of chill this morning. So we're getting our tea today instead of coffee, and then we're gonna get home and start cleaning out the closet. Okay, I'm gonna explain my game plan a little bit so you guys can see how my brain's working and what method I'm gonna kind of use. And then we're just gonna get started so I can just get this over with. So I want to start in my closet. All of these that are in bags, I brought home from school like this, and that's why they're still in bags, because I know that I'll probably keep most of that stuff. And then all of this stuff was, like, stuff that I hadn't had at school all year, so I can probably safely assume that most of that is going 
to be donated. Um, I cleaned out my sweatshirts, but I want to go through this bin and that bin because I know there's a bunch of crap in there. And then through my t-shirt drawer, I've done that like a little bit, but I still have a bunch that I don't really wear anymore. That's where I'm going to start because that sounds like a lot already. And I have the hardest time like choosing what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to give away because I'll be like, oh, I haven't worn that in a year. But if I had this other item of clothing, I could make a really cute outfit. So then I hold on to it and then never have the ability to make an outfit out of it. So I'm going to try and be very diligent and like specific about what I keep because I don't wear most of the stuff that I have. So let's just jump right into it. closet is now empty as you can see behind me all the stuff that was hanging in there is now in three piles this is my keep pile this is my donate pile and then that is a pile that i have to try on again and decide whether i want to keep or donate so now that i have my closet done i think i'm going to start going through my dresser and pretty much just do the exact same thing pull out all of my clothes and keep adding to the piles It's like 1.30 now and I just finished going through all of my dresser and that try on pile and making my final decisions. So this bag of stuff I'm going to take to Uptown Cheapskate and see if they'll take any of it. And then I have this pile that I need to find a bag for and that stuff's going to go to Goodwill with the rest of whatever Uptown doesn't take. But before I do any of that, my mom just got home and is making me and my brother a grilled cheese. So I'm gonna eat that, and then we're gonna head to Uptown and see if they'll take any of these clothes from me. I'm sitting in my car right now in the parking lot of Uptown because my legs and back were hurting so bad that I just had to sit down. They don't let you leave once you bring your clothes in, and they said it was gonna be like over an hour, so I was like, okay. It's been almost an hour, and I could not stand there anymore. So I ran out to my car for a minute, but I'm about to go back in because I don't want them to get mad at me. So hopefully it won't be too much longer and I'll see you guys after. Haha. <laughs> okay, so it's like five minutes later now. And I must have wished it into existence because I literally walked back in the store and they called my name in like three minutes. So that was super cool. Got like 65 bucks, so that's nice. Um, I want to take the rest of that to Goodwill at some point, but I really need a nap. So... I think that's next on the to-do list and then take that stuff to Goodwill. I need to watch Bachelor with my mom and I think I'm gonna see JC at some point tonight because we had a reschedule. It's like 9 p.m. now and I just got to JC so I'm gonna go inside and hang out with her and just enjoy my time with her and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these productive days in my life and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.